What's going on guys? So as you probably know by now, Sony finally did a full reveal on the PS5. Uh, you know, it was huge, it was hyped up and everything. Uh, they streamed it online, so people were, millions of people were watching it, as I've heard. And social media was blowing up afterwards. I mean, uh, you know, they announced the PS5 a long time ago, uh, but they finally did this reveal where they showed the console, showed a bunch of games and everything. Uh, so it was big time. And so in this video, I'm going to show you exactly why you should be buying the PS5. Because, uh, you know, after the stream, they gave us a lot of reasons to buy the PS5. So let me go ahead and start with the reason number one. I'm going to kind of scroll through their live stream and see if I can find where it's at. Um, but yeah, this is like, this is huge right here. This is why I'm buying a PS5 right here, guys. You know what, you know what we're looking at. <laughs> we got GTA 5 on the PS5, guys. That's crazy. Uh, I mean, first of all, why do they have a PS4 logo up here? Um, second of all, this is a joke. This is not why you're buying the PS5. GTA 5 is, uh, I repeat, not why you're buying the PS5. I'll give you those reasons in a second. But let me just go ahead and first of all say, I think it's kind of funny that GTA 5 is on the PS5 now. I mean, we've had three generations of, of GTA 5 now. It came out first on the PS3 in like 2013, I think. Um, then, of course, it got ported to the PS4 and now to the PS5. Uh, so it just, it's kind of just a sidebar. That's kind of crazy. But, you know, now for the, you know, three huge reasons why you should buy the PS5, the, the legit reasons. So number one, um, I got to go with the design. I mean, the design is crazy. Uh, it, it, when I first saw it, I was like, what is this? What am I looking at? Why? Why does it look like this? Um, and then three seconds right later, I realized this is, you know, I was wrong and this thing looks amazing. I mean, it's it's crazy, but it's amazing. And, it, you know, it looks super futuristic. It's like a I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of like a, a spacecraft or something. Like somebody just, um, you, you know, you know when you used to see these designs online of people creating like these these concepts of of PS4s, PS3s, you know, any kind of console they could create a concept of, they did. And you just search on Google Images for like PS7, and this would come up. That's basically what it looks like. So I, I'm I'm convinced that they, the PS5 developers, like went online and searched some of those concepts. Um, images that people made and just chose one and made it the PS5. But I mean, it, it looks crazy. It looks good. Um, I like it, to be honest. It's got a cool two-tone uh, kind of thing. They got some white and some black. You know, just a quick comparison right here between the Xbox and PS5. This is the only one I'm going to do in this video. I'm not going to compare PS5 and Xbox in this video other than this. But I feel like the Xbox Series X took the safe route and, you know, it looks like a PC. It looks like a giant center block. Uh, but Sony took the bold route and I think it'll pay off. Uh, I mean, they got this super, uh, you know, spacecraft looking thing but it you know from first reaction it seems like people like it and you know I, I think it'll pay off for them so reason number two they showed a nice lineup of games in the live stream uh so you know they got things like gran turismo 7 uh they got a new spider-man game that's based off of miles morales which is if you've seen the latest spider-man movie or you know i don't even remember if it's the latest spider-man movie now or if you even if you played the last spider-man game you know what i'm talking about um, but that game looks sick you know just from looking at comments on you know different youtube videos and, and websites uh, I saw a bunch of people saying that they're buying the PS5 just for the Spider-Man game, and, and to be honest, I can't blame them. Uh, the Spider-Man game looks great. I mean, Spider-Man, the last Spider-Man game that was on the PS4, and it was exclusive to the PS4, that was, that was a great game. Um, so I'm definitely excited for that. And they also showed Horizon 2 Forbidden West, and they, which is a sequel to another hit game on the PS4, uh, which is obviously an exclusive. Um, and they showed some other ones as well. Uh, you know, they showed some that aren't exclusive, like GTA 5, as I showed you guys earlier. Uh, I think they showed some stuff about NBA 2K21, which eh, that's questionable. Um, you know, <laughs> NBA 2K, they they like to, every time a new generation comes out, they add more sweat to like the, the guy's faces and, and the floor just to make it look more realistic. But, you know, it's, it's the same game every time. But yeah, I mean, Sony always showcases uh, nice games. Um, to be honest, I don't know when these games are coming out. I don't know if they're going to be released with the console or not. They may have said that in the live stream, but if they did, I missed it. Um, but But it's a good sign that they got a whole you know, a, a whole bucket full of, of, of exclusives to release for their new console. Another one I forgot about was Ratchet and Clank, um, and then a bunch of other kind of kind of new generations of games that are coming out as well. So reason number three this is my last big reason right now. You know, I, I can't give you all my reasons right now because we haven't seen both consoles in person yet. Uh, once we see both consoles in person, you know, we'll, we'll obviously be able to give a better breakdown. But from everything we have right now, I think reason number three has got to be backwards compatibility. Um, now, if, if you watch a live stream, backwards compatibility, I don't think it was spoken about in this live stream. Um, but it's something that we heard about in the past. And they're supposed to be having backwards compatibility for pretty much all the PS4 games, which is big. You know, it, it'd be great if they had PS1, PS2, and PS3 backwards compatibility. Um, but, but just having PS4, that's, that's huge. I mean... If you guys had a PS4, you'd know that there was absolutely no backwards compatibility on the PS4. It was just PS4 games and that's it. 
Um, but it sounds like the PS5 will be able to play PS5 games, obviously, and then PS4 games. So obviously we don't have the full story yet. We don't have the console out yet. Uh, but I think just the mention of backwards compatibility is, is pretty big and should be, uh, you know, build well for things to come. So as always, thanks for watching, guys. I'll leave a link down in the description if you want to check out the full live stream. Uh, it's pretty long, so I doubt you want to watch the whole thing. You can probably find some highlights and stuff. Um, but again, thanks for watching and have a great day.